The following is an excerpt from Disc 2, Story 3, Volume 1 of In the Room with Milton H. Erickson, M.D. To purchase these DVDs, please go to MiltonEricksonDVDs.com. Thank you. You all know the people who shake their beat on the same pool. And may take them half an hour to get immersed all the way. I'll tell you the story of Max and Bonda. I first joined the Worcester State Hospital staff. Max, I met Max and Juan, a young couple, in junior psychiatrist. They were very much in love. They were very friendly. They invited me to go swing, make and see one, which adjoins the hospital farm. I accepted the invitation. I'm in my best uh, bathing suit. My um, bathroom joined them in their car. And to my surprise, Wanda was so sulky, all the way to the lake, and nothing to say. And Wanda was a very social girl. And Max was his own cheerful self. And we reached the beach. Wanda leaped out of the car, took off her bathrobe, threw it in the back seat, and strode down the lake and plunged in the water. Now, where do the two of us? Very bad manners. Max and I walked down the beach, chatting. And Max would be toe touch wet sand. He said, I think I'll go in swimming tomorrow. Mm. Then I understood Wanda's behavior. All he do his big toe off the wet sand, sat down on the dry sand. And I plunged away and Wanda and I had a good swim. Shortly on the way back to the hospital, I asked Wanda, how much water does Max put in the bathtub? <laughs> and she said, one lousy inch. <laughs> Her time, less than a week later, Superintendent offered Max I'm welcome to the senior psychiatrist. And Max said, I didn't think he's ready yet. Superintendent said, if you weren't ready for it, I wouldn't have offered it to you. You're going to take the phone off or you're out of a job. Max resigned and elsewhere. <coughs> I lost all track of them. Some 25 years later, I lectured at the Pennsylvania Academy of General Practice. At the end of my lecture, an old, gray-haired man, an old, gray-haired, haggard-looking boy, approached him and said, do you know us? I said, your question implies I should. I really don't. And he said, I'm Max. He said, I'm Wanda. I turned to Max and said, I remember him two of you now. When are you going to find Max? He first said, tomorrow. What are you doing? He said, tomorrow, of course. And I turned to one and said, how much water does Max put in the bathtub? He said, the same love is stinky, one inch. 
I wanted to be in love with her husband. She wanted children. And she loved Max. And she waited and waited and waited until he was ready. He should have known by his one inch of water in Bethel. He'd never be ready. He should have known by the fact that I'm going swimming tomorrow. I asked Max, what are you doing now? He said, I'm retired. I said, what rank? He said, junior psychiatrist. You know, the fact that I asked those questions indicate I knew back in 1930 that the answer would be in 25 years' time. Either you go in swimming <laughs> or you don't. Either you accept a promotion or you don't. Either you become a father or you don't. And Harry poor Warner, living on hope until hope became impossible. Where else could she go? I've seen that sort of thing happen over and over again. A bright young high school graduates, full of promise and take a job, they're going to college next year. Mm -hmm. They're going to college next year. Going to college next year. And 25, 30 years later, they're still working in the barber shop. And all the years I've been in medicine, the only people I've seen who starved to death had a money belt of a hundred thousand dollars in cash around their abdomens. You read those stories all the time in the newspapers. And Collier Brothers of New York. Do you think you could have helped Max way back then? Hmm? Do you think you could have helped Max 25 years before? I didn't have the right to pick him up and throw him in the water. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he didn't ask for your help. And I didn't have the right. That's that's why you didn't have the right. That's right. In grade school, Jimmy, every summer, sat on a river bank in the and sure as God made his little green apples. And going swimming tonight. I went through grade school, high school, and Jimmy every summer. Sad Murray, sure God made the little green apple going home tonight. You had to wait out about twenty feet before the water got higher than this. Jimmy fought through World War One, came back, sure got me a little green apple, I'm going to throw it tonight. Jimmy's dead, of old age. He's going to throw it tomorrow night. Mm. He never did, you know. He wasted all that time.